Hello, viewers. Now we are sharing a sum regarding the cross product. Here, a unit vector A makes an angle pi by 3. With i cap, that is pi by 3. If we take another, makes an angle pi by 4 with j cap, and theta with k cap. So we have to find the value of theta. And the direction cosines of A. As we know, the unit vector A makes angle pi by 3. So we take cos alpha, you know, cos alpha, which is called L, and it's given the angle cos pi by 3, and that is cos 60 degree, and the value is half, and M, that is cos beta, is equals to cos pi by 4, cos 45 degree, so the value is 1 by root 2. Now, n is given cos theta, but the value of theta we don't know, and that we have to find out. But we have a relation, but the relation is that L square plus M square plus N square is equals to 1. So, this we know. Now, here the value of L is half, so we put half square, and the value of M is given 1 by root 2. So we put 1 by root 2 whole square, and then N square is equals to 1. So now half means 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. plus n square is equals to 1. So that is half and 1 by 4 if we add up, we will get 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 plus n square is equals to 1. So n square is equals to 1 minus 3 by 4, that is 1 by 4, and which is equals to half of 4 square. So this implies n is equals to 1 by 2. Therefore, cos theta is equals to 1 by 2 and it is equals to cos 60 degree. Therefore, theta, the value of theta is 60 degree or pi by 3. And you got the last direction cosines of a and b and c. So already we obtained the value of L. The direction cosine the unit vector the direction cosine of the unit vector n that is l i m j in case where you found L and M of I cap M one by root two J cap and then half K cap. So, direction cosines of 1 by root 2. Okay, that's all. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.